So welcome to Applied Mathematical Finance and its object-oriented implementation. Sometimes I call it computational finance and its object-oriented implementation, and sometimes also just shortly computational finance too. I gave computational finance one, which was the numerical methods, but the lecture does not fully require that you followed the other lecture, the numerical methods lecture. So a few remarks on the aim of the lecture. Well, written here, theory, modeling, numerical methods and implementation and how they are connected. Well, these parts all learn a lot from each other. Yeah? So to be a good programmer, to create a good implementation or also to be a good modeler, it's important to really have a deep understanding of the theory and also of the numerical methods. On the other hand, if you are able to perform numerical experiments and, and create an implementation, you have a laboratory, a laboratory that allows you to explore the model to improve your modeling. And then by that, gain a deeper understanding of the theory. Uh, so this is really nice. I mean, doing theory without the ability to perform experiments yeah, is really something uh, lacking. I could also say there is another aim. It is not the main part, but uh, I would like to take you here on a small journey. And this journey, which I like, like to do, yeah, so it's in the background and it's, uh, we will, learn the theory and the numerical methods and the implementation on the way. Yeah. So this little journey I do here is I will build, a, say an almost industry crate. Implementation of an, yeah, and that's maybe just our application interest rate model. For derivative valuation and say also risk management and other topics. So we will start with the theory. So we have here these different parts, the theory, we have the modeling, we have the numerical methods, and of course, the implementation of the numerical methods. And we will start by looking first at the theory for interest rates, and then consider some prominent interest rate models, interest rate or hybrid models. So, in the modeling part, I also have something special. We make a small excursion and we will look at the climate model yeah, or a so-called integrated assessment model. Okay, so a climate model. And I would like to combine maybe interest rates with this. And for all these, yeah, so when we come to the point that we like to implement a part of the model, we will also discuss some numerical methods. For example, if you consider the task that you have to calibrate, we have to discuss how to do this. So we have to discuss uh, appropriate root finders, minimizers, optimizers. When we discuss how to model the correlation structure in an interest rate model, Okay, there we need also some numerical methods like principal component analysis, factor reduction, regression methods, whatever. And all this is a little bit embedded in that we really implement the model. And the way we implement the model is not that we will just write a small code that illustrates what we would like to have, and then we throw it away. We will build really a library step by step. Actually in the background, there is already a library where all this is. And I'd like to follow a little bit the path, how to build 
this library. So I will discuss some software development design patterns and tools, yeah. Industry standard tools, Git Maven, yeah, Jenkins. And if time permits, in the end, yeah, it's maybe nice to let our model run in a cloud framework, yeah, Google Cloud or Amazon Cloud and Microsoft, whatever, cloud provider. So some parts that we use here in this lecture were discussed in the previous lecture, numerical methods, for example, the implementation of, or the abstraction of a random variable of a power in motion of an Euler scheme. I will review this, so in my first session, but if you do not know this, it's sometimes okay to just see it as a black box. So it's something that you can use to build larger models um, on top. 